Alright everyone, so today we're going to be making archive files, which is pretty easy to do. All you have to do is use the OS module to change to the directory, and the shootil module to actually archive it. You don't necessarily need the OS module, but it's a lot simpler if you do, um, because the shootil model can basically say, this is where I want to zip it, this is where I want it to go, and all that stuff, but... I'm not even going to get into that today because you don't need to know how to do that. It's just basically there, and you can look at the doc types to do that. Anyways, so the first thing we're going to do is check what um, formats are avail available. So what you do is you type git underscore archive and then underscore formats. And here is the list of them. We have bzta AR, bzip2, ed tar dash file, gz tar, uh, gzip, ed tar file, tar, uncompressed tar file, zip, and zip file. Well, yeah. This is basically, these are together in each one of these uh, tuples within the list. But, anyways, you can also register some new ones if you type uh, shootil dot uh, register then archive underscore format but um, you just give the name the function and then extra args if you need them if you don't need them and then it just registers the new format but that's pretty easy to do. You just give it the format and you have to have something that will open it, of course, if you expect to open it. Anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, B directory on our desktop from before and we're going to zip the A directory. So that's going to be pretty easy to do. What we're going to do first is just change into that directory. So C users uh, Kurt wow. uh, desktop and then B. Dang it. Copy, paste, and quotations there. Now we're going to do shootil dot make underscore archive. And now we give the uh, format the root, which is basically like where what directory you're in, because you can specify that. Then there's the base directory, which is the uh, name that all the files will have prefixed to, the, to them but that just defaults along with the root directory to the directory that you're currently working in. So for the directory we're going to be archiving we're going to use uh, desktop slash b and then colon comma and then zip zop zip enter and now if we open this we have our uh, winrar zip archive we can open that up and you'll see that we have everything that's contained in here a and then c dot text and so that's kind of nice I mean you can now use Python as an archiver and you don't have to go through using another program you can just quickly type out a script in Python and you're on your way so that's pretty much it for this tutorial I don't think there's really much else let me think for a second nope that's it so yep uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll be seeing you guys later comment if you have any questions or comments on the video like the video if you liked it and subscribe for future videos I'll be seeing you later